All right, we've been playing a lot of golf, but we haven't brought you a course vlog. And this channel is overdue for a course vlog. Don't worry, our other stuff we got planned is coming. But let's get out on the golf course, shall we? And what better way to do it? I got a tee time for nine holes at Indian Lake with my dad. So we're going to celebrate Father's Day by playing some father-son golf. Let's get it. So yeah, because of the COVID, we just haven't been able to bring course vlogs. And when I get out, it's so booked. You know, you don't want to hold anyone up. And they'll be like, oh, there's this jackass filming and holding us up. So Brightwood course vlog is coming. Just like Wacky Rack, whenever the hell I can figure out when to get it done. You know, and the world doesn't go crazy out of found my old humidor yeah i gave up smoking cigarettes but still gonna have a cigar every now and then on the golf course or for special occasions like father's day i think i'll get dad a stove you see if he wants one there we go load up the humidor yeah these are awesome cigars for what you pay for them uh Don Thomas. These are the Rothschild size. Just like my man Winston Churchill. And we got the Classicos. And the Maduro. If that'll focus. Yeah. These ones are good. Classicos. But I find the Maduros burn longer. And have that stronger flavor. Like I smoked one of these Maduros today and it literally lasted me nine holes before it was a nub. So these will be per so the Maduros will be perfect for Father's Day. There we go. Yeah, fix the humidor too. Doesn't really look that good. The little glue's seeping. Right. Enough about cigars. Let's get to the golf course. I think Dad's here. <laughs> Breakfast ball, Dad. Wow. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kicked into that. Not really what I want. Here we go. I feel you, you feel me. I don't know if I can use it. It's already running, it's pointed at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which way? The other way. Other way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm filming myself, am I? Yeah. Oh, that's the old rocket course. Very nice. There you go. It even. Uh -oh. Jump to the right a little. A little short. Should have clogged up for the wind, but I'll take it. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> and we're off, Dad. We're off like a herd of hurdles. Now we're out here hanging out on Father's Day with the old man. Alright, onwards and upwards. I don't think we grabbed the scorecard, but who cares? Played the score like three times in the day. Yeah. I think the golf gods were giving you the business right out of the gate. Maybe that's what I get for not warming up. Yeah, you definitely gotta loosen up.
top. Oh, it rolls on. Oh, he's hitting good. Get up there. It's gonna roll towards the hole too. Lovely. Well, you played the brake better than I did. Quite a lively roll. Was it ever? I mean, on the green. The green's a fast. I know. A little downslope too didn't help me very much. Oh, you gotta hit it. Got to hit it. Oh, oh. Thought, eh? Didn't bike us that hole. That was our practice hole. Yeah, I think that's what, that's what we call in the industry, Dad, breakfast ball. Looks like you did some lumberjacking, Dad. I thought I got a good hit. Same as last time. If you see me on the screen, that means you got it right. Like she said, definitely lost a bit of distance on it because the wind is up, just, you know, forcing it down. This cabbage rot. Doesn't look threatening, but it's hard to get out of there. Yeah, there's a little troll wave behind my wall. That sounds good. What's Dad doing? It's either dancing or just short. So Dad has put himself in this hole. That's not even full of water because it's so dry. Barely. I know this is a water hazard. Yeah, just your luck, Dad. Three three holes of golf and you found two water holes. I'm not doing good. And I didn't have much luck either. I'm I'm on the green in three instead of two because I chopped that first one out of the rough and it went like two yards. I'm already stroked out, I think. Ooh. Well, don't stroke out on me now, old <laughs> man. We still got seven more holes left. Yeah, we're yeah we're skipping holes in the video for time purpose. Yeah, I say the 
You'd give it to me, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Do it one hand, it just for the kiss. You're gonna curse it now. There you go. I don't curse nothing. So yeah, folks, we've been doing this alternate hole. No, not to hold the people up, but now he's complaining that I'm not getting any of his good ones on film. What do you say, Dad, on this one? You want to put one out there like you've been doing for the people out there in TV land? Yeah, probably won't be able to do it now that TV land's looking. Yeah, welcome to the world of a professional golfer. I bet you Tiger... The pressure. Well, I bet you Tiger Woods wishes those cameras weren't there even though he can block them out. <laughs> well, you know they just we have... You shall see. Like you, well, you've been hitting that hybrid so good. The red special. The... Good hit. You know, it rolled over the green and it was just a tad toppy, but it's still, you're still getting it airborne for the first couple holes you were you were topping it but now you're starting to get under it i say a few more games and you'll be getting under it more consistently all right shot. oh i took a really big divot that might not even get over the water yeah i did it's literally just in front of the water like damn it's hot out there today anyway i forgot to press record like an idiot when i hit my second shot from just in front of the water and I think Dad's tee shot ended up in the back of the green. I think he made par, even though I said bogey. Because I think that little flub was only his second shot that he hits. And then he watched this. Yeah, so I'm under there. And I didn't refresh the cord like an idiot. So he didn't get to see me top it. Go in a hole. Oh, oh dad! That's what I wanted to do, but that's not what I did the first time. See, sometimes you don't care, right? You just <laughs> go. Was that technically your third shot? No, it was my fourth, because I have to count that little one. Still hell of a, still hell of a way to make bogey. Mm -hmm. What a, that's how you celebrate Father's Day. See, I told you we'd get a good one on camera. Right on. That's how you make fire. Oh. Hey. Had to answer that one. Couldn't let me get ahead of you, could you? No, you got me. You showed me the line. You just got me fired up to hit a good one. And that's the first par I've made. I've been scrambling all around. There we go. Put that back in the humidor. Dad didn't want a cigar. That's okay. We got ourselves a whiskey and coke here. And we cleaned up these clubs. These Bobby Jones irons are awesome. You'll see it at this, in the video. I literally flush one off the tee with this two iron. These are staying in the bag. Definitely going to compete with these in the Special Olympics. If they don't make it through the whole year, they're at least getting competed with. I just don't feel like getting custom fit right now. So I don't think with all this COVID, even though it's slowing down, you know, everybody's still like, let's just say everyone's freaking out and paranoid. So I don't think they'll be putting the full attention into a custom fitting. And I'm not gonna pay X amount of dollars until I know every stone is being turned if I'm going through that process. So. We took a gamble on these and it paid off. We got two to nine iron because it's the same deal with the Spaldings. These clubs are more traditionally lofted and we actually know the lofts. This two iron, as we explained in the unboxing, 19 degrees. Then this nine iron is 45 degrees and the pitching wedge that comes with it is already 50 degrees. So we just use our 50 degree into a 54, 58, boom, works. 
So we're gonna roll with that. Here's to our first course vlog. Happy Father's Day, Dad. New Scott out.